So earlier this week, Spike Lee made headlines when he told Vibe magazine he wouldn't be seeing Django Unchained because it was disrespectful to his ancestors. As the conversation grew, Lee stood firm, tweeting, American slavery was not a Sergio Leone spaghetti western. It was a holocaust. My ancestors are slaves stolen from Africa. I will honor them. Now, at first, I wasn't sure if I, as a white woman, wanted to throw my own two cents into such a delicate conversation. But as Lee's comments have gotten more and more traction and could become potentially harmful to what I think is a fantastic film, I've decided to touch on this ever so carefully. Now, when I first saw the headline about Lee's comments, my initial reaction was disappointment that he was trying to discredit yet another step forward for black talent in Hollywood. I'm talking about Tyler Perry, whose work Lee has attacked again and again. Forget that Perry's movies provide employment opportunities for black talent in front of and behind the camera and provide entertainment for black and white audiences. Forget that Perry has invigorated Atlanta's film industry where his studio is based and that he addresses issues that are important to the black community. And forget that Perry is the only black filmmaker to consistently perform at the box office. Apparently none of that matters to Lee, who doesn't like Perry's immensely popular drag act, something that highly respected white comedians have done for decades, such as Melton Burl, Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon, Nathan Lane, and all of Monty Python. Now Lee, who has long been irked by Quentin Tarantino's use of the N-word, is attacking Django Unchained, a film that shines the greatest and harshest spotlight on slavery since Roots. Plus, here's the thing, Lee has not seen the movie. He refuses to go, yet how can one criticize something they haven't actually witnessed? A few weeks ago, I criticized upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn for a misogynistic and homophobic web piece he'd written, but only after I'd read it. Personally, having seen Django Unchained, I thought it was incredibly respectful of slavery and that it allows the audience to witness, without any filters, the evils of the sick, twisted world that was the American South, and all the raw emotions that both poured out and were bottled up as a result. And I can almost guarantee that anyone who sees Django Unchained, long after they've stopped laughing at Tarantino's clever dialogue and set pieces, will continue to think long and hard about what was done in this country. And that clever dialogue and set pieces are what has allowed Django Unchained to open huge on Christmas Day, posting the biggest Christmas Day gross ever for an R-rated film. That means the film is reaching all audiences across racial divides. Plus, it's up for five Golden Globes and is a major Oscar contender. With all due respect to Spike Lee, if he's unhappy with the way Tarantino is depicting slavery, he should make his own movie. Many of us would certainly be eager to see it. What do you think of Lee's comments? And if you've seen Django Unchained, do you feel it's disrespectful to slavery? Share your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now. Thank you.